Hey guys, still there. Welcome back to Victory at Sea Pacific. As I mentioned in my previous video, I will be doing a series on this, but it will probably not be bug-free. The game is still being worked on, and as I was loading the game, this is one of the bugs that I encountered. When I previously ended Episode 1, I had three task forces. Task Force 1, 2, and 3, creatively named. They only had one ship each. One submarine, to be in fact. USS Guavina, Task Force 1, USS Guitaro, Task Force 2, and USS Hammerhead, Task Force 3. When I loaded the game, the game said, well, we're going to give you some extra ships. Out of the blue. I have no idea where these additional ships suddenly materialized from, but here they are. Task Force 1 not only consists of the Guavina, but also the Pennsylvania, the Maryland, the Tennessee, the Chandler, the Hovey, and the Litchfield. Task Force 2, not just the sub, but also the Colorado, a battleship, Pensacola, Richmond, and Clark. Then we have Task Force 3, consisting of a bunch of cruiser, sorry, correction, one cruiser and a couple of destroyers. Task Force 8 has an aircraft carrier, USS Enterprise. Again, no idea where the Enterprise all of a sudden decided to pop up from, but we have a carrier with the accompanying aircraft. And that's not the only carrier that I have. Task Force 6 has the Saratoga and the Concorde. Task Force 12 has the Lexington, two cruisers and a destroyer. So now, all of a sudden, I have much more striking power. I actually have the capability of going out there, uh, there being... What was I going for again? Ah, yeah, make an atoll. And actually going in for a strike. And again, there are still things that I do not know about this game. Um, one of the things that I don't know, for example, is how do I detach a submarine from a task force? How do I do that? Because I can say I'm going to drag it over here. Uh, and then give it a separate order. So I can have it scout out the place, for example. And uh, tell Able Squadron to go back. Because these guys need repairs. The battleships are all heavily damaged. It's like they just somehow steamed out of Pearl after being heavily damaged. I'm not sure what happened there. Task Force 2 looks to be quite alright. And I don't really need the battleship over here. But I might try to intercept some enemy battle groups. So I'm going to continue Task Force 2 in its course. Task Force 3, consisting of a couple of destroyers, a submarine, actually two submarines. Um, I can still use these. So I can say Baker, that's the sub's gonna go here. Uh, Charlie's gonna go over there. And naturally, it decides not to want to do that. See, this is the, one of the problems that I have with the game. I don't really know how to move a ship out of a fleet. I can have a look at the specific fleet. And the ship that I'm currently looking at is the Indianapolis. This is the ship that I want to separate from the group. The Hammerhead and the Albacore. But instead of there being an easy button to leave fleet or uh, separate or something like that, it's just not there. I simply do not know how to take that thing out of my fleet. So. I guess that for now, well, hold on, can I switch this to something else, yeah, there we go, I think, wait one, yep, that's it, okay, finally figured that out, okay, so task force 14 consists of one submarine. You're going to be scouting out this place. Task Force 13 is a sort of skirmish group. I want you to move here. TF3 is one submarine. I want you to scout out the place down south. That is Tarawa. Task Force 1 is going back to Johnston Island for repairs. Task Force 2... Um, I'm going to separate this guy eventually, I think. No? Maybe? Nope, I'm not, I guess. Come on, game. <laughs> Stop fighting me. I want to separate. Okay, I'm just not going to separate. 
I... Ah. Well, fair enough. Um, Task Force 15. Now I know how you eventually end up with Task Force 63, just splitting ships. Task Force 15 is going to head to Wake Island and see what we can do around there. Task Force 1 heading back. Uh, the Albacore, I want you to scout out Wake Island. Task Force 1, 2, 8. Ah yeah, 8's the aircraft carrier group. I'm going to have these guys move over here. Eventually they're going to be doing a strike on Macon Atoll. Task Force 12, Lexington, Chicago, Portland and Porter. Uh, what are we going to do about you? I think that Midway has decent defenses for now. Let's move you closer to Midway, because eventually there might be an attack on Midway. Task Force 6 is the Saratoga and the Concord. And I believe that San Diego was still in the process of actually building me some new ships. Uh, yep, there's a Northampton-class cruiser that's being completed in six days. That can join that specific task force. Pearl, were you working on anything? Yeah, a Northampton class. I have 146 war bonds. I want to save that and eventually get to work on building another aircraft carrier or repairing a battleship. Carrier, 310. Battleship, 410. That's going to take a while. So, for the moment, I'm not going to be spending my war bonds. Now, as for a general war strategy, at the moment, the most forward port that I have is Hawaii. So, Pearl Harbor. Um, yes, Midway and Johnson Island are also ports, but they're not shipyards. Ideally, I'd want to be building more ships, potentially submarines, from Wake Island. So I'm going to have to try and scout out this place, bomb it, and take it over. Then, upgrade that to a port. Now, there are still quite a few questions, like, um, how the hell do supply convoys work? The answer uh, beats me. I do not really know... Where the fuck are you even going? I don't really know what these things are carrying and where they're carrying it to. I can see what they're carrying. Shells, bombs, rations, etc. But at the moment, it looks like convoys Mike and Nan don't really have anywhere to go. They might just be stationed off of Hawaii at the moment. Let's see about the stores at Johnston Island. Um, supply stores are okay. Let's send Convoy Mike up here. Yes? No? Maybe? Convoy Mike is feeling rather unresponsive. Same for... <laughs> Jesus. Really? Hello, squadron. Convoy. Yeah, see stuff like this? Uh, this needs to be worked on. This is not good. I have no idea how to move these ships around. So for now, I'm going to assume that they're automated. I just don't think it's a really good idea to have a convoy like this, Convoy Charlie, steaming directly towards New Caledonia. That seems a bit risky. But Fiji. Fiji's not ours. That's British, right? Yeah. A couple of motor launches and some gunboats. That's not really going to win us the war. Okay, for now, let's speed up time. And see if we can finally get some of these submarines to maneuver to a position where they can actually attack. In the meanwhile, the other task forces... Let me fleet destroyed near Singapore. Oh, really? Hold on, near Singapore? Uh, here? Ah, that's a cruiser heading away at best speed. And a battleship, no less. Where are you going? They're going past the Philippines. Okay, what are they pursued by? Two submersibles, three destroyers, six submersibles. Oh, joy. Well, I hope that these guys can make it out alive, but I... I'm not too optimistic about that. Okay, task force six. Let's see if that ship gets completed soon, and then we can keep moving. 
Now, as I mentioned previous, it's going to take time for these ships to actually arrive at their destinations. The Pacific is a really large place, as you might imagine. Uh, lots and lots of water. And at the moment, there's not a whole lot that I can do, but just speed up time. I'm now at times 500. And just to see what happens. I just hit something off of Malaya. Oh, they're in combat. Ah, good. Task Force 16 has been created at San Diego and is waiting your orders. Okay. Uh, Task Force San Diego is the lonely cruiser up there. Can I merge? Yes. Okay. I want you to be on Alpha Squadrons. So now I have a carrier, a light cruiser, and a heavy cruiser. That's a start. We can send you guys on your way. And let's, for the moment, head to Pearl Harbor. Uh, merge fleets? No. Move for now. Okay, good. Back to 500 times speed. Scout aircraft are still autonomously doing their job. Oh, hold on. Enemy vessels spotted. Near Johnston? What you got? Four DD... Uh, sorry, four submersibles. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Um, the destroyers from Task Force 8 could be handy there. I just wonder what happens if I detach the destroyers. By the way, I think the destroyers, like any ships, can run out of fuel, judging by this icon here. I'd say this one is hit points. This one might be fuel. Is there any way to check? Active crew, level 1, rations, 400 days of rations left. Torpedoes, depth, this is ammunition. Fuel, yep, 93 out of 100. Okay, so that was one of the questions that was asked about this game. Do you have fuel? Is that a concern? Answer, yes, absolutely. Okay, let's see what we can send out from over here. Um, absolutely nothing. Well, that sucks. Okay, we're going to have to redirect this battle group. Task Force 8. The attack over there is going to have to wait, because I cannot have all these convoys running around if there's enemy submersibles around. Uh, let's intercept them here. Steam directly north and try to intercept them. I hope we're fast enough. And we might... Yeah, we can resupply there. So that means that these guys have plenty of fuel. 10,000 points. Perfect. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, that's the battleships. We're going in for bears. Something else that I would like to see is the ability to rename these task forces. It only says your fleet. But it doesn't really say... Ah, there we go. These things are not looking good. Um, it doesn't really say how I can rename these task forces. Okay, then. Back to the main bridge. Which I think is a weird weird way of describing it. I'd say this is the plotting room, if anything. The flag plot? Not so much the bridge. Ships have bridges. I hope Task Force 8 can intercept these guys in a hurry. Near Kamchatka? Really? Two light cruisers. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is unfortunate, but there is, at the moment, nothing that I can do about that. I have a bunch of turrets, and uh, one whole aircraft there, a spotter plane. That is all. Yeah, okay, well, good luck with that, then. Back to Johnson Island. Let's check it out. Can we engage them yet? Speed 100. I know submersibles are not fast. The Enterprise is steaming up at 28 knots. 
Task Force 8 encountered enemy submersibles near Johnson Island. Enter combat. Now we're going to see some fighting. Okay, start the battle. I can, at this point, still move ships around. I think. Yeah, they're in a ring formation. I want to have my DDs lead the charge. So we're going to have those in a separate squadron. That's the destroyer leader. These boys. Can you change formation on them? Hmm. Okay, that will do. Uh, the carrier. I want to have those a little bit further back. So that's the carrier and a bunch of heavy cruisers. Where is the enemy? Here. Okay, start the battle. Baker Squadron, engage. Where is the Gridley? There's the Gridley. Now, is DL Destroyer Leader or Destroyer Light? I think it's Destroyer Leader. What's your armament? Two five inch guns. Two five inch guns. This thing has eight five inch guns versus a standard DD. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's a lot of torpedo tubes, though. And as I might have mentioned in the previous episode, these things can and likely will run out of ammo eventually. Now let's follow the lead ship. USS Bolch. Speed up time. These things, the destroyers, have sonar. They can detect the submerged submarines. At least for the moment. Let's check with the Enterprise. I don't think the Enterprise has anything that can actually do something against submarines. Unless it happens to have depth charges. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Cut, well, cut fighters, 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 devastator torpedo bombers. Nope. Okay, so the carrier at this point is not too useful. It's going to have to be the destroyers. This thing does come with depth charges, and we only have 15 of those. The others... 15 each, by the looks of it. Well, that's going to have to be enough. Hold on. Oh, never mind. I don't know about you, but I can't see the ships anymore. The submersibles. Destroyers are still perfectly sailing in formation. Where the hell are those subs? Speed at 25 times. Ah, we found one. There's one. Then those must be the others. Alright, engage it, Will. There we go. That's the sonar ping from the Gridley. Does that mean that the Gridley is the only one that has sonar? That would make this ship far more important than I initially expected. Um, with the whole squadron to... Not fire torpedoes. Because we might still need the torpedoes for bigger fish. Okay. So here's a sub, the I-171. 172, 173. And supposedly the 174 somewhere in the back. Alright, Mari, you're it. Oh, torpedo. You better avoid that. Now this is where you can, to some extent, actually take control of the battle. Let's see, anyone else in the line of fire? Not so much. Where the hell did that sub go? As far as I know, we didn't kill it. There, 
There's one, there's two. There he is. Right in front. Orientation. Oh, oh. Ow. Splash Maori. Okay, Bulch and Gridley. Gridley, you're going after the 173. Bulch, you're taking this one. Crap, so much for the users, Maori. Let's see if we can rescue survivors. There's another torpedo coming in. Going off somewhere far to the side. 171 seems to be using the wreck of the Maori for the moment. Torpedo coming in. There it is. Come on, Bulch, go and get it. There's another torpedo incoming. Take evasive action. Well, there's plenty of torpedoes in the water. It's like sometimes we can detect the subs and sometimes we can't. Oh, shit. Move away. Gridley. 175. In case the 175, that's one we know. Oh, you're actually right on top of the other one. Can you still deploy depth charges? Yeah, we can. Hit. He's taking some damage. I want you to keep going for this one. And the Macau can go for that submersible here. Ah! He surfaced. I think he was no longer capable of staying submerged. You're going after this one. You're moving off. So they have one submarine less. And we just lost another DD. So far... It's two for two. I lost two, they lost two. Ow! Holy crap! That was a rear shot from the I-171. Can we hunt this one thing together? Does that work better? There's the 175. I don't quite know what the orientation of the 175 is. There's another torpedo coming in. Avoid. First need to get this torpedo out of the way. And then I can see what we can make happen. Dude. I wouldn't recommend that. Oh, 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 oh. He's right there. That thing drops a torpedo on you, you're dead. Well, depth charges are out. That might have forced him to the surface. I hope it did. I recommend you steer the other way. And there, and then back. Macau. Go for this one. Wrong click. Attack. Come on. Come about. So, they sunk three DDs. We sunk what? One? One sub? Is that a dead sub? I think that's a dead sub. Oh, shit. Please don't torp me. There's definitely another one out there. Hit on the 175. Uh-oh. Just like World of Warships, narrowly avoided. Craven. You just torpedoed a wreck. How many depth charges do you have left? Thirteen. 
Jesus, these guys are good. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Craven. Macau? Well, I have a bit more to learn about submarine warfare, or ASW. Hmm. Still banging away with sonar, but I'm not detecting a sub. Where the hell is it? it must be over here somewhere. spotted there briefly. I'm gonna have to order some new destroyers, that's for sure. the 171. What are you doing? Seems to be moving that way. Means if I come in from the side, he will not be able to trap me. Famous last words. There he is. Oop, there's another torpedo coming in. Slow down a bit. There's the 171. Engage it. Hold on, though. That thing launches a rear shot. We're going to have issues. Hold on. I have an idea where you are. So we're going to do a bit of a blind shot here. Something else over there. Full ahead flank. Well, that torpedo won't be a problem. As long as these guys are wasting torpedoes trying to hit my destroyers, they're not harassing my cargo convoys. So that's something. But I did just lose a whole bunch of destroyers. Craven, Gridley... All that's left is the Macau. Ah, oh, there you are. Is he just trying to leave? It might be. There he is. Orientation. He's trying to come around, by the looks of it. Charge him down. Oh, there's no torpedo incoming. Okay, full left rudder. I'm going to try and depth charge this guy, even though I don't exactly know where he is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, I guess. Nice explosions, but no hits. 11 depth charges left. Okay, turn some more. There he is again. 
171. There's another torpedo in the water. Avoid it. Good work, Macau. Hello. It's like this sonar is not that good at picking them up. Maybe because it's an older sonar array, the technology might not be that advanced yet. I don't exactly know what it is. I know that my tactics just cost me four ships. There you are. Come here, you son of a bitch. Reducing speed, hopefully turning the ship around a little faster. And if I alternate my speed, make the ship a little unpredictable, that might help with dodging torpedoes. Like that. Full back emergency. Surprise. Saw that one coming. Okay, drop ASW here. Hit. Nice work. All right, Macau. Oh, 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 oh. There's more of these bastards. See, I should have micromanaged the other ships a little better. Ha! Gotcha. I tried to surface, couldn't stay submerged anymore thanks to that more or less blind depth charge attack, and I sunk it. By my estimate, there is one more submarine out here. Somewhere here. Oh! Maybe not. Maybe not. Slow, 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 slow. Alright, speed up again. This, by the way, is something a destroyer would be able to get away with. A carrier? Not so much. A carrier simply won't turn as fast. It's like the guy is just sitting there. Not anymore, he's not. Come on. He's close. Can I hit him with a gun? Probably not. Some games that works, you know? Just trying to splash something like that. You can... Oh, there's two submarines left. You can get away with that, sometimes. We're just gonna keep dancing until this submarine dies. Or the Macau dies, but... Not if I can prevent it. Cal's gonna get some vengeance for his buddies. In the meanwhile, I'm heavily hoping that no destroyer, or sorry, no submarine got the bright idea of just ignoring the destroyers and going directly for the aircraft carrier. That could really ruin the day. Slow down a little. Good work. Turn in. And we're gonna toss some depth charges out here. Come on. Somewhere over here, I don't know. Uh, no hit. The one good thing is that the submarines are way, way, way slower than my destroyer. There he is again. He's definitely been damaged. But not so much that he needs to surface yet. It's like his conning tower is above the water. Let's keep going. I have stopped counting, by the way, how many torps this ship has had to dodge so far. I think it's plenty at this point. Turn, 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 turn. Prepare for dive... Sorry, dive bomb? Depth charge attack. If I'm not wrong. Right 
Uh, here. Hit! Crippled. Likely that we're going to be seeing that thing on the surface pretty soon. I don't think he's dead. There we go. And now you're dead. Oh, 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 oh. There's the other one. Not so innocent either. Lob it. No hits. I have three depth charges left. I need to make these things count. Speed up. It's a bit unsafe to be passing directly in front of an enemy submarine like this. Because that... Hello. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There. I can count. Is that a hit? I think it was. Oh, he's definitely not coming up yet. Depth charges have been reloaded. Drop a few more. That's the last ones that this ship has. Crippled. Surface, you son of a bitch. Come on. What is he doing? Is he coming up? Yep, he is. Whoa! Kill him. Be quick about it. Because this thing has a tendency to fire back. There we go, fleet destroyed. Well, I sunk four submarines at the cost of four destroyers. Not pretty. But I got them. Alright, relink with the rest of the fleet. Uh, task Force 8, I want you to go up here. Prepare resupply. In the meanwhile, from Pearl, I'm going to have to order some new destroyers. Albeit, I was saving up for something else. I need destroyers. I think it was the Gridley class that I was using. Yeah, Gridley class. Alright, let's order up some Gridley classes. For upgrades, I can get Advanced Raider and Sub Hunter. Well, that seems to be a good idea. There. Okay. Not a bad run. Well, with the exception of losing my ships. Let's see if these submarines can scout out anything. TF-12? Doesn't have orders currently. Let's move out. Alright, I also want to send up a group of bombers to just scout out the place. Who knows what we're going to find. Let's speed up a little. I should have had the Enterprise do that too, by the way. I just completely forgot about it. So this is Lexington. Where's Saratoga again? Ah, it's still coming in from San Diego. Defense Force. Oh, Komandorsky. Well, this is going to be interesting. This is the two light cruisers. The two light cruisers that... Oh, and what is this? The hell's an ATF? It has one... <laughs> it has one three-inch gun. Yeah, good luck with that. What are we facing? Two cruisers, right? What are we facing? A t Oh. This is an ocean-going tug. <laughs> These guys have even fewer chance. Uh, what are we looking at here? A light cruiser, the Kiso, and the Tama. What do these things look like? Three bow turrets. Make that four bow turrets. A couple of stern turrets. Torpedoes. Port and starboard. Yeah, they are no match, these tugs. Can I tell them to just get the hell out? 
don't think so. So what's going to happen here? Can I run? I keep expecting to see a larger map overview, but that's not really working out. Uh, can we head here? Speed up. Are those things... They have the same name. Well, that's a little uncreative. How about the port itself? We have an airfield, six-inch guns, coastal emplacements... No idea if I can actually manually control those. I guess now is a good time to learn. Yeah, not have you to... Oh yeah, we can definitely fire at them. The defense force has been destroyed. The guns are firing on the Kiso and inflicting heavy damage on it. Look at that fire, that's extremely accurate. Wow. Okay, so I suppose that this base still has a chance. That's one down, the Tama's next. Seeing what just happened to, I suppose, a sister ship of it. This one might be getting a little nervous. And I don't even have to do anything. Shrapnel. Rudder hits, cripple, turret damage, slide guns damaged, and he's dead. Okay. So, these basic ports are still not to be underestimated. Interesting. Okay, not bad. Well, I think this episode has run long enough. I'm going to be continuing this series, probably tomorrow, because there's definitely enough to cover, and uh, definitely enough to learn, too. I still have a lot of things that I just don't know how to do in this game. So, there will be mistakes, there will be, uh, let's say, educational experiences, and we'll just see if we can win this war, eventually. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game so far. Remember, it is still in development. It'll be out in four days, September 14th. And at that point, you too can try to either defeat the Japanese, defeat the Americans, or operate as the British. I don't quite know what sort of campaign they have yet. Anyway, we shall find out in a couple days. For now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.